What's happening everyone? This is Eric with the Get Me Out of Here vlog and today I'm at Chestnut Mountain Ski Resort and behind me is the Ostermeyer Wienermobile. It is here. Wasn't expecting that but here it is. So you gotta, I'm gonna see if I can't go inside this thing. Roadside Americana right here. The Ostermeyer Wienermobile parked in front of Chestnut Mountain Ski Resort. Hitting the slopes today. I've never been to this resort before. First time skiing in the state of Illinois as well. This is located just a few miles south of Galena, Illinois along the Mississippi River. So there should be some awesome views of the mighty Mississippi from the top of the hill here. Anyway, follow me. I'm gonna hit the slopes. I'm gonna take you along with me. This is freaking awesome. All right, let's go do this. the song. Oh, maybe that was it. Alright, looks like they are leaving. Oh, they're taking off. There goes the largest wiener on wheels. It's kind of appropriate. We're in Illinois, right? So we got to see the, got to see a giant hot dog in Illinois. There he goes. I didn't get to go inside. No weenie whistle today. But they're taking off. That, what are the chances of seeing the Oscar Mayer Wienermobile at a ski resort? I've actually been inside the car before. Years ago, it was parked in Evanston at Northwestern University campus. Got to go inside, sit in it. Got a weenie whistle. I've only seen it like a handful of times in my life. Uh, I think another time in Florida, but uh, Awesome, all right, well, that's a good good sign. We're gonna have a good ski day. It's gonna be a good slopes today. Fresh snow, we just got a bunch of snow this last week, so most of the powder should be fresh. So one thing that's kind of different about this location or unique about this ski resort is the resort itself is on the top of the hills. Every other ski resort I've been to before this has always been at the bottom. And then you take the chairs up to the top to ski down the hills. But this resort is at the top. So you ski down and then take the chairs back up to the resort itself. So a little bit different. All right, guys, what's up? Got my skis on, ready to hit the slope. Something like an hour, it is packed here. This is the busiest I've ever seen a ski resort to date. And uh, yeah, a lot of people out, so. Took a long time to get my rental skis. One of these days I need to purchase my own so I can just skip all the waiting in line and trying things on and seeing what works. Yeah, I need to, I highly recommend if you ski a lot, purchase your own because it is such a waste of time renting. But anyway, um, the other downside is they do not have GoPro mounted helmets here. So I gotta figure that one out. I, I do have the chest cam, but I don't like the way that turned out on a video I filmed last year. Every time I lean down, all you can see are my skis. You really can't see a good view of the skill of the slopes. So trying to improve on that. Um, I have a wrist strap too. So I might play around with some things. I do want to show you guys some of these hills. So if anything else, I'll do the chest strap uh, mount again and I'll have to save up for my own ski helmet. So I can show you guys these slopes all the time and not run into this mess. So anyway, got my skis, let's the slopes. Holy cow guys, first hill here today. This is a green, I kid you not. You can't really tell from the slope here, but this is the steepest green I have ever been down to life. This is steeper than any of the blues that I did a few weeks ago at Cascade in Wisconsin. Jeez, you guys aren't messing around here at Chestnut. This is insane. I was looking to warm up. I'm like, oh, a green. Oh my gosh. Took me a while to get down because I'm trying to maneuver. I'm still learning all the moves. Uh, how to zigzag back and forth, how to, how to do all that. I see I'm horrible at even at the terms, but look at this ramp here. This is crazy. Wow. All right, well, we're just getting warmed up again. I'm going to try to get the GoPro mount hooked up, but I wanted to do a couple runs, but holy cow, I'm feeling it after this first green here at Chestnut. This is insane. Yes, that is a green 
here at Chestnut. <laughs> Holy cow. I wasn't prepared for that. <sighs> they don't mess around here, so definitely I had to get my carving down on the very first hill here. Usually green is very easy, but this one for green, it's insane. So carving, that was the word I was looking for earlier. That's the zigzag. Trying to get the carving down, but this is intense here at uh, Chestnut Mountain. This is, oh, look at the Mississippi River. This is how close we are. That is the frozen Mississippi River straight ahead over there. Way over there. This is how busy it is here today. This is crazy. I was overhearing some of the guys say this is the busiest they've ever seen it here. Probably because of all the snow we've had over the last couple of weeks. It's fresh powder, feels great, but it is long lines. Very long lines. So yeah, here is a map of the ski slopes. You can see there's a lot of blues and greens, so I thought this would be a great one since I've been out a few times already, but holy cow, I just went down the old main and that was like a blue in itself compared to other ski resorts I've been to. So these blues are probably like black diamonds at other ski resorts I've been to. So this place is literally next level compared to Mount Cato, Cascade, Devil's Head. Yeah, this, you, don't come here as a beginner. I'm just gonna say that right now. All right, I stopped on the chairlift. It is not moving, so got a little time to chat. Still, this is, uh, this is crazy. It's so busy out. Um, I've gone down one hill so far. Again, a green that was like a blue at every other ski resort I've ever been to. So, uh, oh, there we go, moving again. So, um, I'm gonna get to the top and reevaluate this. I probably will go back down Old Main, this green over here, and I'm gonna try to hook up my GoPro. But it's gonna be a slow day today because it took me about 20 minutes just to get it on to the chairlift here. But yeah, this is an interesting ski resort to say the least. I got the Mississippi River there. Behind me, a frozen Mississippi River. You can see the hills of Iowa. They're on the other side. But yeah, beautiful day for skiing. Gorgeous, it was supposed to snow today. But so far, no flakes in the sky, nothing. So I'm actually keeping my fingers crossed it doesn't snow because it's gonna be a nightmare driving home in some of these backcountry roads, at least until I get back into Highway 20 in route to Chicago. But for the time being, it is perfect ski weather, which is probably why it's so busy. All right, getting to the top. I don't know how so many little kids are amazing at skiing. Oh, I say that, he falls. Well guys, I decided to take a quick breather and try to get my GoPro figured out and hydrate a little bit with a Coors Light, the mountain beer. Uh, they didn't have any local beers at all here from the Galena, Dubuque area. I was hoping they'd have Potosi, which is a local brewery uh, near Dubuque on the Wisconsin side of the Mississippi River, but they don't have that here either. So sticking with the mountain theme, the ice mountain. Getting a little liquid courage inside me and then i'm gonna get this gopro mounted and i will show you old main this is the top of old main it actually starts over there this is the bunny hill right here but over there it starts and then it winds its way down this gradual slope Whew. it's a good intermediate one for beginners 
What is cool though is the view here is spectacular of the Mississippi River and you can see it, it's frozen, at least this portion of it, just covered in snow. And actually the snow is starting to come down too. We were supposed to get snow today. It was supposed to start at like 10 this morning, uh, 10 o'clock this morning. Um, it is now, what time is it? It is now almost three o'clock and the snow is starting to come down. So fresh powder, there we go. But take a look at this view of the Mississippi River. Right there is a view of the Mississippi River, the largest river in North America, frozen, and the hills of Iowa there on the western side. Holy crap, guys. It's really coming down. The snow is coming down. Look at this rig that I did with my GoPro. I think I can make this work. So I'm going to take you with me. Let's go do Old Main in the snow while it's snowing, I guess is what I was trying to say. Let's do this. This GoPro might be sliding around. It, I wish I had the connection on a little tighter, but that's what I got. So, without further ado. Let's go do old man. Oh. Woo! Beautiful slopes. This is the easy part though. Boy, the fresh powder. I'm still learning how to carve. So, all right. I'm trying to keep this camera as straight as I can. But here we go. My right ski went under me. I'm still trying to get the carving down. So. Almost had it. Boy, though, this powder feels great. Oh man, I love it. I have a harder time carving to my right than to my left. That's what I'm trying to learn. Actually, you know what? This feels great the second time around. Maybe I just needed to warm up earlier. Nice little carve. Oh, this is great. You know what? This snow feels great. You know what, guys? Woo! I feel wonderful right now. Should I go on the jumps? No, I'm not going to do that yet. Oh, why not? Let's do, let's do a little jump. Yeah, we, oh, you didn't see it. Shoot. So we did, right there. Whew. Boy, look at these lines. All right, guys, we did it. There you go. That is Old Main. This is what, that's one of the best greens I've been on in any ski resort in the Midwest. Now we get to wait for 20 minutes. Wonderful. Right. Got a unique too. They got these these gates here. 
Never seen that before. And up, up, and away. Oh, this one's kind of low to the ground. Skis are still touching. There we go. Up, up, and away we go. So that last run, let me get my gator down. That last run felt so much better on Old Main. I think I'm going to hit this blue up next. This one right here. I can do this one. Feeling good. Yeah, I think I can do that one. Let's try this one next. Just to add again, it takes 20 to 30 minutes with these lines just to get up to the top of this hillside again. So, yeah, probably not getting my money's worth today, but at least, at least it feels great to get out. Still is worth getting out here. Be one with the snow. Be one with the snow. Look at this little kid. Look at this. That's amazing. So that's how children skiers are born. That's incredible. I can't even do this by myself. <laughs> I haven't tried yet. All right, if a baby can do it, I can do it. It's my new motto. If a baby can do it, I can do it. Holy cow, this guy's going down this? What? Oh my god, that's hardcore. That guy literally just went down this rocky cliffside right here. Jeez. I don't even think this is an official hill. Yeah, he cut through the fence there. That's insane. Oh, very low to the ground. All right, guys, I'm going to do Old Main again. Just, to, just do another good run. Kind of a warm up, I guess, even though I've been skiing for a while now, but I like this one. All right. Yeah, you can feel the fresh powder now for sure. So I need to get the carving down better on my right side. It's really the side that I'm having the most trouble with. My inner ski just doesn't quite want to turn right. That felt great. Nice carving. Great. Yeah, you really can fly on this one if you want to. 
I love these rocky cliffs too. Look at these things. Very cool. Awesome. All right. Feeling pretty good, guys. I might try that blue next. Might try the blue next. All right, guys. Like I said earlier, if a baby can do it, I can do it. Here is my first blue of the day. This is Black Hawk. It is snowing out, so fresh powder. Take my time. Take it slow. Nothing rush. You guys are staring at the sky. Stop, I should say ski stop. Wonderful. Like it. Whew. black off we did a blue there you go guys conquered a blue first one of the day all right moving up moving up all right the snow is really coming down here the lift line has shrank tremendously it is way shorter than it was even like 20 minutes ago so Almost five o'clock, it's getting, I think it's going on five o'clock, so it's gonna start getting dark. So I will probably be wrapping it up here as well. Try to get out of here before the roads get too bad. It is snowing really good right now, but they have a map at the top of the hill. And so far, really what I've stayed on today, again, I'm, I've only skied four times in the last 15 to 20 years of my life. But I basically stayed on the left side of the map today. I did a lot of the old main, Black Hawk, Fever, Acorn, the Chute. Pretty much, pretty much stayed over there today. Getting warmed up, but I am hoping to do a few more trips this season and more next year. So I wanna keep getting better at skiing. It's something I, I really enjoy. I wish I did more over the last 20 years. Look at this snow, look at this. I literally just got off the, the mountain, hill, whatever, the Mississippi River Bluff, I think just in time. I gotta drive back to Chicago, so I wanna get at least off of these back highways and onto Highway 20 before it gets dark because these windy roads can be really bad. And I don't wanna get stranded in Galena, again, even though I love Galena, but I uh, have to get back into the work week, so. Um, back into the grind. But anyway, this has been Chestnut Mountain and it's a great ski resort. It's the best one I believe in the state of Illinois. <laughs> great views of the Mississippi River, some great slopes, great runs. I will say that I don't recommend this to a beginner. 
I think there's some better ski resorts for people that are beginners. I would recommend Cascade in Wisconsin, maybe even Devil's Head. Uh, Sundown is another ski resort around here uh, near Dubuque, Iowa. I have not been to that one yet. That's another one that's on my to-do list. So I can't compare that. But overall, it is a great resort here. I recommend it. If you're a intermediate skier, this place is perfect for you to get out and run the slopes. Uh, really, the, the, my biggest complaint was just uh, how slow the chairlifts were. But you know, when you're this busy, what can you do? It is what it is. But anyway, thanks for tagging along today, everybody. This is Eric. It's time for me to get out of here. Thanks for watching. Oh yeah, it's coming down. This is not going to be a fun drive home. Not gonna be fun, but hey, you're from, I grew up in the Midwest, I'm used to it. Used to driving in these conditions, as much as I hate it. Just take it slow. Slow and steady wins the race. Oh yeah, this is what I get to drive through for the next two and a half hours. You know what though, it was worth it. The trip was worth it. It's not terrible, not yet. I just need to get past these back country roads before the sun goes down. If I can get to Highway 20 and then back out of Interstate 90 before the sun goes down, I'll be sitting good. I'll be definitely sitting good. By, by Yeah, I know there's, there's like no sun because it's a blizzard, but it's still kind of light up. All right. I got this. Just another day in the Midwest. Yeah.